Hi everyone. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Juan. Hey. hey, Kingsley. How are you doing? Good to see you again Being so great. soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. I can see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, so this is what we have at the moment. Uh, let me see. Okay, so um, I think after um, we had a design. There was a design I met I think a couple of weeks back, and um, after I called with Sarah, you know, we made some changes to kind of like adapt to the all-in brand style and chaos. So. Um, currently on the home page, right, we have the how it works session. So I think some of these copies are being reviewed. So sorry if it doesn't reflect some of the changes that has been made. I think I'm yet to make those adjustments. So, and then we have the about us page. So this is what we have. So when you click on um, when you click on the application process. So you see the different the sub you know you know the sub categories or topic or description of you know the different budget process and stuff. So and you also have the this section that talks about the di.md file and the di badges. So um this kind of this also reflects you know the style. On the all in website, since we are still modeling um, this particular project in line with what they are doing, but just a, a blend of the chaos color, like saying here, and in some aspect of the project. So, this more like, you know, of course, talks about the, I think Ruth and Anita, you know, handles the content and stuff. So, and we have the project. Because before, as a maintainer, so maybe before scanning my project, you know, I'll probably love to go through to see if maybe uh, maybe the project has been assigned a badge or what type of badge has been assigned in the past, so I can search. But then, if I don't want to jump on the search, I can also filter. Right, so we have options for. You can filter based on the date the project was published the batch date, or you can filter by alphabetical order. So um, I think those are the current options we have. And um, of course it's paginated because you can't just display everything on a single page. So that's for the, the project page. Then the big one is the get started page where I don't know, maybe if you have questions so far, am I too fast or something? No, I, I think um, we're just watching. And just uh, in case it's not clear, this is the design that, uh, that has okay. been uh, refined, so it isn't implemented yet. Um, okay. Just so uh, it's clear to everyone. So I have a few comments um, and maybe a few questions. So I, I've okay. seen a few times, at least on the, the content. So... I guess my question is, Ruth, we had worked on some of the copy a few days back. Is yeah. this is that it's, here? It hasn't, it hasn't been uploaded yet. So okay. Tuesday, after like today, just upload that content to the design before okay. the front team. Okay. 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 So sorry, sorry about that, Matt. I think I was no, just no, having no. a conversation between uh with Anita. Just to sync with some of the changes that we made. So okay. I think after this call, I'll make some of those updates. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No problem. I was just making sure that you knew that there had been some changes that had been made. Sure. 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 Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Uh, and then, okay. So, uh, um, well, a few, okay. uh, one other, so I, a few times that just make sure that, so what's the consistency for all in? Because like at the top, it's, lowercase a lowercase case i in those brackets 
and then in the text it's all in like capital a lowercase i so does does sarah want to be consistent do you know okay um for um based on what we have i think the design um the design handoff from kyle yeah. which i believe is designed at um, all in so um the logo I got was actually all in with um, lowercase a, and um, of course, uh, so, and um, I think I just got it and then attached it to you know the okay. girl's logo. So I didn't make any major changes. So in terms of the consistency too, in terms of the style, um, I also adopted the the braces here. You notice that all the curly braces here, you know, it's different from the green. Yeah. Now, whilst the green is the overall logo, the all-in logo, but we have all-in style for maintainers. And that's where you find this color. Okay. Because this project, the badging, the, the DI project badging falls under the maintainers. They're all-in for maintainers. Okay. So all-in for students has a different color. So I just adopted kind of like when you hover on each of this, Right, it changes to, yep, yeah. Okay. So and why I really adopted this for the design too, it's going to resonate with the chaos color. Perfect. I mean, overall, I mean, I think this looks amazing. I should I should have started with that <laughs> before I start giving <laughs> comments. Um, <laughs> and then how? So like, go back to the maybe about page. Okay. Okay. And then, um. So let's see, scroll. Oh, click on the DEI.md file over there on the left. Okay. And so how do we, this is an example. So ultimately, will these pages be available in a GitHub repository so that we could suggest changes to them? Because um, as an example, those four points you have at the bottom that says like, okay. if you GitHub and all that kind of stuff. We've we've modified those a little bit in the DEI.md yeah. file to be, you know, a bit more um, agnostic to the platform where somebody might be yeah. interacting with the DEI.md file. I mean, it's fine here, but I'm just curious how we might go about ensuring that those changes to the DEI.md file end up getting reflected to the website. Because if I could just do a, a pull request, that would be fine. It is a mock-up, yeah. I imagine. Yeah, but... this is a mock-up to the there's a there's a project repository where like the copy as well will leave where you can just do a pull request. Okay. Fix okay. the changes. Okay. I just so the content it when it goes live, the content will be available in GitHub and we mm -hmm. can make those um, consistent with each other. Changes, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. I just just making sure. Okay. Um, I think that was it. Thank you. Okay. Um, so shall I continue or have more questions? Yeah, yeah. No, I well, I, at least I'm done. Other people might have questions. <laughs> okay, that's okay by me. Thank you. Um so okay, so for a user that wants to bad use our project, so you're expected to click on get started. And then you get to, of course, so before you continue with the process, you definitely have to know some of the basic requirements we need to batch a project. So just to be sure that the user has this before engaging. So you can now authenticate with GitHub, like log in with GitHub. Just sign in. Assuming you've signed up or sign in. So, okay, so we have, um. I personally added this copy, but I, I think um, Anissa is trying to refine. And the whole idea about this is that um, as a user, I would really love to know where I'm coming from and what I'm supposed to do next. So thank you for your decision to batch your project, type your preferred, kind of like just a walkthrough to know exactly what to do. So um, that's why I have this copy here. So maybe if you're not interested and you know exactly what you want to do, so if you're a smart user, you can click that up. So. So, and then um, proceed to search for 
typed a search. So just assuming that you've typed a project, then you can select one that, you know, anyone you want, because this is pulling from your repository stuff. So select one and then. And now the selected project appears below like a tag. So this gives you option to go back, type, add more projects. I think currently we're just working with scanning a single project at a time. But if ever we want to kind of like, you know, like scale things up and probably add more projects and scan more projects on the go. So I can search and just keep on adding. So any project I want to take over, I'm not interested in scanning, I'll just so back click it to remove it from there. So I can now proceed to scan project. So um so the copy here too, I think we're also still working on this. So now kind of like updated, like your scan was successful and you get like a scan report, DI scan report, you know, certain time. And um, so I'll actually assume that the user either wants to probably continue, maybe go back to scan another project or maybe perform any other activity. You can go back to the homepage, about us, projects page, or you can just click to batch more projects, which basically takes you back to where we started. So um, I think that's the flow for the guest that they've experienced and yeah. So I, I don't know if you have questions for this particular flow. I, uh, I have a comment and actually just keep the screen up that you have right here. Okay. So the, I think the final, um, this, page would say, you know, scan successful. Hello, Enoch. You, um, I don't know what you will receive a DEI dot. You'll receive a DEI project badge. Okay. On, you know, um, on successful scan. And then you should also receive a supplemental DEI report within the next four days. Okay. Okay. So the badge okay. is is purely tied to the successful scan of the DEI.md file. Okay. And then the report that is going to be generated by Augur is that's a supplemental report that should show up like whatever, some number of days later. So they'll, they'll end up getting two things. I think one, they'll get a badge almost immediately because I think the scan. Yeah, of, that's what we, that's exactly what we decided is it would be immediate. Yeah, so the DEI, the scan of the DEI.md file, I would imagine doesn't take very long because you're looking for the presence of the DEI.md file um, plus the headers, the four headers in the, in the DEI.md file, plus some content below the headers. And based on that scan, they'll receive the bronze badge. And that's kind of the end, that's technically the end of the badging process. Then four days later as a supplemental service, we provide an additional report for their repository, DEI report for the repository. Okay, so um, I think I'm just like personally trying to um, maybe I should ask like a question because you mentioned that um, these kind of reports will be from Ogo. That's yeah. right. Okay, so um, I also want to understand maybe just educating me more because uh, as a user, if you're introducing Ogo, I don't know if like this set of maintainers are already like familiar with, you know, are we getting a different email from Ogo or we're still working with like, um, um, maybe this is no, the part should, of the guy budget. Good question. Yeah, it would be a second, it's a second email. Um, and so, but the only thing that we have left to configure is to have a basically shared account. And I think 
I can't remember if this is resolved or not, Ruth, but we were trying to get an all-in email account that you could send emails directly from for the badge, and then we would just use the same email to send the report. So it would be coming from the same badging entity. Yeah, we're trying to resolve like the email would you um for it so you can come from the same email address joins me and then just for context for everyone as well um once this scan is successful there will be like an email that sent to the um users um email affiliated with their github account with the with the badge the copy of the badge like the html um badge so that we can add it to wherever they want to and i think in the previous meeting uh, we had before this one we had also talked about adding like in the exactly this is the bill that kids they showing and we are um we are also going to add in this email that they would that notify them that they would receive the report from Olga in a few days just to keep them uh we waiting for like the email so yeah so this is the email um there will be an email to they are to the email that is associated with their github account so yeah and that's some of the content we thought we needed to edit as well yeah this is another one we are going to update i think anita already tagged tagged you max on it so. yeah i just saw that This is great. And then there was a question in the chat that uh, maybe Elizabeth, you got it answered. Yeah, what? Ruth, Ruth was answering it as I was typing it. So <laughs> great minds, Ruth. All right. Okay. Okay, so um, uh, just, I think Ruth just mentioned, so, this is the email template I worked on. I mean, like most like you're working with. So, um, like you mentioned, I I think uh, yeah, of course, Anita will work on the copy, and then but well, then the user. I think this is the email that will carry the badge, where I think user can download the badge directly. Opinion. So. Um, so I, I think. Uh, Okay. I'll take a look. Well, I was gonna two things. One, I, I'll take a look at some of the copy for this, but I think it looks really great. This is a great email to receive. Uh, <laughs> it is. It, with you. respect to the badge, or I'm sorry, with respect to the report, I I feel like we should probably call it you'll receive a report from all in the all in chaos project badging project or something like that as opposed to saying auger just so they understand that it's still from that's my project opinion. badging yeah, 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 yeah that, that's that's the point that's the point oh. i was trying to make sorry to that yeah. because all that brand. you know using yep. these different terms can be a little bit you know confusing for a yep. user that doesn't really know what ogo is come on i've, I've been interacting with di project badging so always yeah. ogo coming from I appreciated so, that point. So I, I agree. Yeah. I think it should just say like all in chaos project badging project. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. Too many projects in there. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, for me as a user, I think I'm much more interested with in my getting my badge reports rather than the name or wherever it's coming from. Yeah, you so. can just say that too. Yeah, you could just say you'll get a, you'll get an, a, a supplemental report in a few days. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, I think that's just the much I have from like the design aspect of things. So thank, um, thank you, Kinsley. Um, so I think this is um the design part and to be implemented soon, um in the coming weeks. So this will be what will be mirrored on the websites um and the page. So the, the front end team that's still working on that and Inox also still working on the bot side of things. So yep. any feedback questions? And I, I think I should share the link to the repository as well. Uh, 
for us. We have an increase back. We can put it here. Yeah, I just shared it in the chat. And this is this is where the web pages will sit. Is that what you were saying? Yes, yeah. this is okay. Yeah, this, this is. Okay, so then as we, whatever, if we see a typo or just a, a fix to something, we can just do it through here. That was like per my earlier question. Where can we make yes. those? Okay. Okay. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Okay, so I guess we can probably go on with the agenda. We just have a few more things, really, unless we have more stuff to talk about with project badging. From a timing perspective, Kingsley or Ruth, do you know when you might have um, this moved over into the GitHub repository? Um, so for... We have a meeting, a follow-up meeting with Sarah in a couple in the next hour, just okay. for her to review the design and be sure that everything is okay and we don't have like any issues. And then the front end team over the next two weeks will move it over and you know, update everything. So Okay. So a couple of weeks maybe. Yeah, a couple of weeks. Okay. So Sounds good. good. Thank you. Anything else we want to talk about project badging? Again, a huge thank you. Looks amazing. Yeah, it really, really does. I'm so excited to launch this. <laughs> like, it will be amazing. So, hooray. Thank you. And it has been so many discussions and so much. <laughs> it's been going on for, I mean, you're not going to have your first conversation early, well, over a year ago. Forwarding this so. out, right. And scoping it like bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller. <laughs> oh, so much. There we go. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, um, just to uh, move on, we can maybe end a little early since we left a ton of time for that demo. I um, just want to update everybody this survey um, that we had talked about that we did with the community. We talked about it last week. Um, we're going to be posting that blog post this week, so keep an eye out for that. Um, we still have <laughs> all things open tickets. Yay. I'm going to bring it up again. <laughs> In case anybody wants to go, let me know. Just change your name to all, we have all things open tickets in the, <laughs> right. in the square. <laughs> it's such a great conference. Like, oh yeah, I wish, I hope that we can take advantage of these because it's such a great conference. Um, the next one is that I'm just going to be on vacation for a couple of weeks, so I won't see you all. Um, so somebody's going to need to facilitate and we can do the um, volunteer if we want. We used to do that with this meeting um, way back in the day. So if if we want somebody, if somebody, I should say, if somebody wants to facilitate, um, we can do that now. We can assign that now or else it's going to fall probably to Matt. <laughs> he was like the backup for everything. So um, do we have anybody that wants to facilitate next week? Okay. Well, all right. I guess it's gonna be you, Matt. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to. I'm happy to facilitate next week. You can put me down. Okay. Where is that? Matt doesn't have to facilitate everything. And then we'll need one for the one after that too. Sort that out next week. What's that? We'll sort that out next week. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then the final reminder is just we have um, our first project manager meeting today at 1 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. West Africa time. And this is for anybody who's interested in helping us out with project management. You don't need to have certification or anything like that. Um, if, you, if you do have some experience and you have some desire and interest in helping us just kind of organize and sort out all of our smaller projects within chaos, um, that's what that meeting is about. But I'm just trying to kind of lay a foundation for that since we do have a lot of um, a lot of moving parts <laughs> chaos, a lot of little things here and there, um, some big things here and there as well. So um, we could really use your expertise and that's a great way to co contribute if you do have that experience and you don't want to contribute um, with code, but you are looking for something to help us out with, um, that would be great. Um, we are going to have these maybe once a week. Well, I'm going on vac <laughs> vacation the next two weeks, but when I come back, we'll have them maybe once a week until we kind of get rolling. And then maybe once a month after that, it's not going to really be a lot of um, a lot of effort there. I don't think we'll need that. So we're just trying to like figure out kind of what platform we want to use and how we want to if we want to put a process in so that if someone has an idea for a new project or wants to start something like how does how do we do that do we do we assign a project manager how does that work so um that's the kind of stuff we're going to be figuring out in the next few weeks so if you do have um matt i see you're not gonna be able to make that that's totally fine um you can give us async feedback or ideas whatever in the channel there's a project management channel which i think we linked to last week maybe somewhere maybe not i don't know um, but it's just project dash managers so yeah pretty easy peasy or if you want to just pop in and see what we're talking about that's also completely valid and open to anybody any questions on any of that stuff that we have just talked about oh and here's matt adding one more thing <laughs> totally it's, fine it, hopefully it wouldn't take very long so um so i've been i think maybe last time i had put or maybe put it out there for folks that were putting together an education slide deck. Yeah, that's the one. Um, to really help people, particularly say as we have these regional chapters or for folks that are new to open source. And this was kind of an, uh, this high level overview that I had put together from material that I had um, that just kind of talked about open source broadly. So the the if you scroll down, and again, it was very, it's very corporately focused, just because that's kind of where I have learned about open source. So I kind of lean that way. And then the idea was like in starting on slide 31 was to kind of talk about how you as an individual might be able to to join a project. Like, you know, what um, what you could do, not just what is open source, what does the landscape look like, which is the first 29 slides, but okay, so now you kind of understand the landscape and you want to join a project, you know, here, here are a couple of things you could do. I started writing this and it, I just, I had a really hard time, like, thinking through it, um, just because, like, if you wanted to join, I think maybe one of the if you want to join the chaos project versus say Kubernetes, like it's just so different. And I was particularly looking at a lot of the documents. I think that Don has shared about like how you join, join Kubernetes and, and ways to think about it. So like, it just felt really odd to just pick one random project and talk about how to join. Um, and I didn't want to do the chaos project because at some point I think we're going to have a slide deck, which is like, okay, how do you join the chaos project, which is very specific and, and unique to us. So I, I don't know, I'm a little stuck here and I, I could use a little bit of, and maybe it's not joining a project, maybe it's something else we say here, but I'm, I'm a little stuck on, on what to talk about here. Yeah, Ruth. Yeah, I was first I was going to say just join the project, right? But um so how I I think when I give talks, how I usually approach this section, because I also do not want to point people like okay, this is a project that you should join, right? Um so what I do is I kind of give pointers to how I pick a project to participate in, right? Um and to me when I started open source, I uh, I stay with projects that were, you know, aligned to my programming language, like Python, 
um and stay with the gnome foundation and uh, even chaos right so usually i point them to thinking about um projects that align with their interests right uh, maybe what's what's particular field they are in in the technology they are they are working with and uh, yeah a couple of like github has this way you can search for projects related to your stack your programming language all that stuff um um so so pointing them to doing like a reflection on what kind of projects they want to contribute to and then there are places to find projects as well um you know on github platform there are like press contributions that are you there are like a couple of well, websites that i can share that people can find projects that they want to contribute to but then i think also there's also the hard part of what you actually do when you join this project because i think that's where you know which which i do agree with you like different communities have um how they you know some communities do not do regular meetings some just communicate async right so um i list out a couple of ways that i've seen projects do it like i know generally a lot of projects have meetings um they have communication channels join the communication channel if they have a new commerce channel try to introduce yourself and say hi um when when you join the channel um try to join the meetings also like contribute to the conversation keep reading about the project like do your own research basically um maybe, maybe that do your own research can go in in the bit of when you're trying to find what projects actually join so that's kind of like how i approach this particular part but it's really tricky um yes i agree because you know first different projects have the way they um, attend to these things and individually we have our own preferences of how we want to engage with projects this is uh amazing so thank you for that and as you i agree with everything you're saying and it was really helpful for me so thanks for that guidance um and then i was also thinking please tell me that you have some slides on this <laughs> i can just use <laughs> yeah let me check <laughs> yeah, let me check and just repurpose for this slide deck. That would be amazing. And if you do, we don't have to do it now, but if you do, could you just send them to me in Slack or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and maybe if I have some free time so I can jump on this one and just add it there. Something. Yeah, that'd, I mean, that'd be great. I mean, it's just starting on 31, you know, slide 31 right here. And the template, the slide templates that I have here, you do whatever you want. That was just me copying the template order from the prior 29 slides. So okay. there's no particular reason I have the empty slides in this order. Okay. Well, thanks, Ruth. That was great. And thanks, Anita, for the comments as well. Okay, that was it. Thank you for me. Awesome. Yay. So we have 12 minutes <clears throat> left. Anything, any final comments, questions, concerns about anything? Uh, just that um, I'm still working on the Moodle stuff. I didn't make any progress in the last week. I had a busy week, so I'll show some things next time. No worries. No worries about that, Sean. Yeah, you can put it on letting, the agenda. letting you know I remember it. Uh, uh, it's on my list put and it, I did not put do it. On the agenda, facilitator, Sean. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'll do. Oops, I can spell. Slightly happy. <laughs> I love that emoji. I'm just slightly happy. I'm <laughs> super happy about that, just slightly. Uh, okay, awesome. Thank you, Sean. No problem. I think that's it for today. You get 10 minutes. Yay. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Kingsley, you for your demo. That was amazing. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.